What's good everybody? Hope you guys have had a good week so far and so glad that we've all made it to Friday. Uh, today we're going to be cutting my dad's hair and as you can see his hair is very long especially on the sides, the front and <laughs> it's just time to get him a cut so yeah we're going to give him a nice uh, mid mid high skin fade. His hair is very light once you trim it down to a one and a half or a one on the sides. It becomes almost like invisible but we're gonna start off with the five we're gonna cut down some of that bulk and this is the lowest I'm gonna go I think I lower it maybe to the halfway mark uh, on top with the number five guard but we're gonna do that all the way around and just make sure that it's nice and even as I'm cutting the hair with the number five guard I'm catching all the hair on the opposite end and just dropping it on the ground uh, I didn't want to really get it all over the floor and have a lot to clean up and I just wanted to have the hair like in a neutral area that way it was easier to vacuum up at the end of the cut. Now with the number one guard I'm going to clean all that bulk that you see right here on the side and the back just all around the head. I didn't bother to go around it with the number five guard since I was already gonna pop the number one guard on with the lever all the way open I believe and just knock all this down. It's honestly crazy to see how much uh, bulk that these Babyliss Clippers were cutting off with ease. It was just one stroke, you guys, and after that, just going over like a couple spots just to make sure it was nice and even. But damn, yeah, th these things just work really good. As you can see, they cut very strongly through the bulk. I was asking him here if he could feel it uh, pulling on his hair at all while I was doing that, but he said, nah, they're good. They feel very nice, so that's what I definitely like to hear. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the hair like towards the very top of his crown area. We're going to part his hair I believe. Uh, that's just what I was guessing and I just didn't know what I was going to do yet. So I just took a little bit of time and said I'll get to it later on in the cut. Creating this first guideline, I'm starting at about his temple area and I'm going to drop it just a little bit towards the back. These Babyliss FX trimmers were cutting really good. They just sliced right through the hair. And if I would have really gone over the hair again, like in more detail, because I'm going to use the Bronze Series 9 to bald them out, I could have definitely uh, gotten away without using the Bronze Series 9. They do a very good job at balding. I've been making sure to clean my Bronze Series 9 daily after each cut. And I really think that's what's helping them to still cut very smoothly. Remember, I didn't have much time to spare on this cut, so wasting no time, I'm moving directly over to the opposite end and going to do the same exact thing. Make that first guideline starting at about the temple area and just dropping it down just a little bit towards the back. Now it's time to skin the bald guideline. So using the Bronze Series 9, I'm gonna go all the way around this uh, left side of his head and just clean everything up nicely. After that, I'm gonna create the next guideline using my Babyliss FX Clippers. As soon as I finish making this second guideline, I'm gonna go ahead and close the clippers completely and start to blend out that guideline that I just created. Remember guys to try and use the corner of the blades that way you're not pushing that line accidentally up too much and it just honestly helps to blend out that line a little bit better. Next with the number two guard, gonna start with the lever all the way open and just start doing a flicking out motion uh, towards all that bulk on the side right there. Now with the one and a half guard with the lever starting in the all the way open position, I'm just gonna start blending in at that number two that I did on this past clip. And little by little after each pass around the, this side of his head, I'm just gonna keep closing that lever until it's about in the all the way closed position. Now using the number one guard attached lever all the way in the 
open position so all the way down i'm just going to keep going all the way around his head and after each pass i'll just close the lever little by little and just keep blending out until i can no longer blend this line with the current guard attached I did lose my soft bristled brush, that's why you guys see me using one of my uh, clipper cleaning brushes. But I am being as gentle as possible as I can when I'm uh, cleaning the hair off the head, trying to use just the side of the bristles. With the half guard now attached, we're going to start again with the lever all the way open and just blend all the way around um, until the lever's all the way closed or until we can remove no more hair with the current guard. Something random I wanted to bring up are these Babyliss clippers that I've been using. I've used them quite a bit already on different type of hair textures. And in my opinion, the only thing I currently don't like about these are that the, the blades themselves, they collect a lot of hair inside of them. So you constantly have to keep blowing them off with the air compressor or a compressed can of air because these blades do get pretty hot a lot faster than my ion extreme clippers and my wall five star magic clippers with the ceramic blades so i just find myself using my cool care a little more on these ones so to blend out that half guard that we had done previously with no guard on and the lever all the way open i'm going to be using the corner of these blades and just going at a nice steady blend as you can see here as I notice that there's no more hair being cut with the lever in the all the way open position, I'll just close the lever a little bit at a time, remembering to use the corner of the blades uh, just until the line is no longer noticeable. So right here at the peak of his hair, you can still see it's pretty dark. So I reattached the number two guard and I just lowered the lever a little bit and I'm just gonna keep lowering it a little bit each time, uh, just until I can see that it's blended out pretty well with the rest of his head. Moving on to the next side with the lever all the way in the open position, I'm going about half an inch up and just following the natural curvature of his head, closing the lever right after that to blend out that line as best as I can. I have tried to zero gap these as best as I could, but they're honestly not as sharp as I would like them to be. So I'll just grab my little trimmers right here and blend out anything that was left behind by the clippers. With the number one guard attached and the lever all the way closed, it's just time to blend down everything I can on the side since I know I'll be going pretty short. Now with the half guard attached, I'm going to blend at that line starting with the lever in the halfway closed position. I know I'm going to go pretty low on this so uh, it's okay to start the lever a little lower than the previous side. Next I want to blend out that half guard line so with the lever all the way open and no guard on, I'm going to be using the corners of the blade to blend out that line that you can see all right there. His hair was cooperating with me pretty well during this cut. So this cut actually didn't take long at all. And as you can see, the steps are very few and the blending is going pretty well with these Babyliss Clippers. Now with the number one guard attached, I'm gonna do some clipper over comb action and just start blending out a lot of this bulk and overpassing hair that you see right there. There was honestly so much bulk right here you guys that I was just like going at it pretty heavy. I even lowered the lever a little bit just so I can go a little bit shorter on the side but the clipper over comb definitely did a good job. It helped to kind of give me a, the next guideline that I needed to blend up at and get it looking nice and even with the rest of his head. I could still see a pretty harsh line around his head so I'm closing the lever pretty aggressively and just going as low as I can so it could blend in uh, perfectly with the skin. With the number one guard reattached, I'm just going to blend in a little bit more at the crown area. I want to get it nice and even looking good so it's not looking all unblended. With the half guard attached and the lever closed about halfway, I'm going to start blending in at that bottom line uh, just until I notice that it's disappearing quite a bit. Moving on to the next side, I'm going to start cleaning up everything on the lineup area, making sure it looks nice and clean. Mm -hmm. 
Now to make the haircut pop off just a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and wet the hair. Now brush it to the side and see where his natural part line lays so I can outline it with my Babyliss FX trimmers. Once I part the hair and the outline has been traced, I just go ahead and use a little tapping motion. I'll flip the clipper upside down just because it tends to be a little sharper this way and it kind of outlines the outline a little bit faster. He did have this widow peak like hair that was growing up in the front so with the scissors I just trimmed right across it. And with my trimmers I just went ahead and buzzed whatever hair was left right there. I know this may look weird but I just didn't have time to get the shave gel ready and a, a, raz a straight razor so uh, very quickly just went ahead with the bronze series 9 and it did the job. Cleaned up all the hair underneath. Putting some gel on his hair now just, just so I can see if there's anything else I need to detail and just to see how it looked when brushed. So we have reached the end of the cut. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, for the time that I had to cut his hair, I think it came out pretty good. There was a couple of things that I wish I would have had time to blend and correct, but eh, in the meantime, it'll be good for him. I'm sure he feels a lot better with his haircut and it definitely looked a lot better than what it did in the beginning. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.